Now that we've derived our model for the dynamics of competition between two species, let's see what we can do analytically to understand the behavior of solutions to this dynamical system. To be concrete, we'll use specific values of the parameters. We'll set the low density growth rate parameters, mu and lambda, to 0.2 and 0.5 respectively, and the carrying capacities, k sub a and k sub b, to 1000 and 500 respectively. In this way, population B grows faster, but population A has a larger carrying capacity. And we saw with numerical simulations using the applet that population A could outcompete population B due to its larger carrying capacity. When analyzing the behavior of a dynamical system, whether it be a two dimensional system of differential equations, like we have here, or a single differential equation, or even a discrete dynamical system, one of the first things we want to do is look for equilibria. Equilibria are special solutions of a dynamical system where the state variables are constant. Since the derivative of a constant is zero, for a differential equation, finding an equilibria means setting the derivatives equal to zero. In this case, we have two conditions. We need dA dt equal to zero, and we need dB dt equal zero because for an equilibrium solution, we need that both a of t and b of t are constant. This means we have to simultaneously solve two equations. The first equation is dA dt equals zero. This means that we have to set the right-hand side 0.2a times the quantity one minus a plus b over a thousand equal to zero. If a and b satisfy this equation, then we know that dA dt equals zero. The second equation is dB dt equals zero. This means that 0.5b times the quantity one minus a plus b over 500 must be equal to zero. To find the equilibria, we must simultaneously solve the system of two equations. Before we solve the system of equations, Let's take a brief interlude to discuss methods of solving two equations. Let's imagine I had to solve the system of equations x plus y equals 1 and x minus y equals 1. It's not too hard to analytically solve the system of two linear equations and determine that the solution is x equals 1 and y equals 0. For example, you could add the equations and get that 2x equals 2, which implies x equals 1, and then plug in the solution x equals one to the first equation to get one plus y equals one, which means y equals zero. So the solution is x equals one and y equals zero. But do you also know how to solve the system of equations graphically? To do so, all I need to do is separately graph the two equations on the xy plane. If I plot x plus y equals one in blue, this is a line that goes through the point 1, 0, and 0, 1. It has a slope of negative 1. And I'll plot the solution of the equation x minus y equals 1 in green. In this case, the y-intercept is negative 1, and its slope is positive 1. Given the graphs of x plus y equals 1 and x minus y equals 1, how do I determine the simultaneous solution? that is those points that satisfy both x plus y equals one and x minus y equals one. Well, since the green line is all the points that satisfy x minus y equals one, and the blue line is all the points that satisfy the equation x plus y equals one, points that satisfy both of them have to be on both the green line and the blue line simultaneously. In other words, I need to look for intersections of the two lines. In this case, there's a single intersection at the point one comma zero, and this intersection is the solution for x and y. The solution of the system of equations is x comma y equals one comma zero, which is exactly the same solution we had before. x is one and y is zero. We have two different ways we can solve a system of two equations. Analytically, where we manipulate the equations, or graphically, where we plot the two curves corresponding to the two equations and look for points of intersection. 
let's apply both methods to solving the system of two equations that will determine the equilibria to our dynamical system. Let's use both the analytic and the graphical methods to solve our system of equations for the equilibria of our dynamical system. These equations are a little more complicated than the two linear equations for x and y that we had in our interlude. For one thing, they're nonlinear equations. Let's start with the analytic method. The first equation is 0.2a times the quantity 1 minus a plus b over 1,000 equals 0. Here we have the product of two factors being 0, so we know that one of these factors must be 0. Either a is 0, or the quantity in parentheses is 0. That is, 1 minus a plus b over 1,000 is equal to 0. In other words, either a is equal to 0, or a plus b is equal to 1,000. If a is equal to 0, or a plus b equals 1,000, then we've satisfied the first equation for the equilibria of our dynamical system. This means that dA dt will be equal to 0. But we also need to simultaneously solve the second equation. 0.5b times the quantity 1 minus a plus b over 500 equals 0. This is the equation for dB dt equals 0. It has the same form as the first equation, so either the first factor or the second factor must be equal to 0. Either b equals 0, or 1 minus a plus b over 500 equals 0. This means b equals 0, or a plus b equals 500. Now the logic can get a little confusing. We have some ands and some ors that we must satisfy to find an equilibrium. If a is equal to 0, or a plus b equals 1,000, then we've satisfied the first equation. If b equals 0, or a plus b equals 500, then we've satisfied the second equation. But to find an equilibrium, we need to satisfy both equations, dA dt equals 0 and dB dt equals 0. So we have to satisfy both of the boxed conditions simultaneously. To help us understand these conditions, let's go to the graphical method of solving the equations. What we'll do is plot the two conditions in two different colors. We'll plot the condition for dA dt equals 0 in blue. In other words, in blue, we'll plot a equals 0 or a plus b equals 1,000. a equals 0 is easy. That's the b-axis. So if a equals 0, then I've satisfied dA dt equals 0. But these aren't the only points that satisfy this first condition. An alternative method to satisfying the first equation is to have a plus b equals 1,000. The solution to the second half is also a line. Let's give ourselves a little more room to label numbers on the b-axis. The points a comma b that satisfy a plus b equals 1,000 are a line with slope negative 1 that goes through the points 1,000 comma 0 and 0 comma 1,000. Any point a comma b that lies on either of these two lines satisfies the condition that 0.2a times the quantity 1 minus a plus b over 1,000 equals 0. In other words, dA dt equals 0 on all these points. Don't get confused if the points satisfying the single condition lie along two different lines. View these lines as one unit. As long as a point lies along one of these blue lines, that point satisfies the condition for dA dt equals 0. But having dA dt equals 0 isn't enough for a point to be in equilibrium. We also need that dB dt equals 0. An equilibrium must simultaneously solve both conditions. To satisfy dB dt equals 0, either b must be 0, or a plus b must equal 500. And we'll plot points that satisfy this condition in green. The points b equals 0 lie along the a-axis, and the points that satisfy a plus b equals 500 lie along a line through the points 500 comma 0 and 0 comma 500 with slope negative 1. Any point a comma b 
that lies along either of these green lines satisfies the condition that db dt equals zero. So let's label the green curves as db dt equals zero and the blue curves as da dt equals zero. Our equilibria must lie along both the blue curve and the green curve so that it satisfies both da dt equals zero and db dt equals zero. We must look for intersections. From the graph we can see that there are three such intersections. There's one at the origin. The origin lies on both the green and the blue curves. There's a second equilibrium here where A is equal to zero and B is equal to 500. And there's a third equilibrium where A is equal to 1000 and B is equal to zero. We can easily see by looking at this graph that these three points are the only ones that are on both the green and the blue curves. The three equilibria are a comma b equals zero zero, zero comma five hundred, or one thousand comma zero. Don't get confused by this point five hundred comma zero that looks like an intersection between two lines. This intersection point is the intersection between two green lines, so db dt equals zero at that point, and both b equals zero and a plus b equals five hundred at that point but da dt does not equal zero. Neither a equals zero, nor a plus b equals 1000. So it is not in equilibrium. It's not on the blue curve. And similarly, the point zero comma 1000 satisfies both conditions for da dt equals zero, a equals zero, and a plus b equals 1000. But it doesn't satisfy any of the conditions for db dt equals zero. So really there's nothing special about those two points and we can ignore them if we're looking for equilibria.